But we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by our favourite beauty editor, Trudy Brewer, who has got some beauty gems that you can buy with your weekly grocery shop. Morning to you, Trudy. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thank Good. you. First up, what's the best routine for women over 30? I always say to women that you should follow three things. It's cleanse, correct and protect. And if you remember those three things, it can be really simple and it's exactly what your skin needs. Cleanse, correct, protect. Yeah, so cleanse your skin every day, morning and night. Some people ask me whether they should do it twice a day, and they should, because in the morning it wakes you up, it gets rid of all the oil that's yeah. on the surface of your skin. In the evening you're getting rid of all the makeup and the grime from the day. Correct, so using something with a vitamin A base, some really good antioxidants, and protect with sunscreen. I mean, sunscreen is the only anti-aging product on the market that works. Yeah. Because it stops the sun from damaging your skin. And everybody should be wearing it even on a cloudy day. Even on a cloudy day. So what are the skincare products that every woman, apart from sunscreen, should be using? Well I think keep it simple. You know, I think a lot of people think that they should have 12 steps to their routine. You don't need 12 steps. I mean, I'll probably get shot by beauty companies for saying that. But keep it simple. Make sure your skin is really clean, well nourished, um, hydrated and protected. So a sunscreen, a good, a I mean, you can mix a sunscreen with a tinted base now or a moisturiser. You don't have to mm. use one that's just a sunscreen. But keeping it simple and using products that really suit you, that are that are easy to use. Okay, so what about those that are on a budget? What are some really reputable brands that we should look out for? I always tell people to look for brands that research, do research. And, you know, brands that invest in research, invest in ingredient research, are the brands to look for. I mean, a lot of people don't know, but the brands like Nivea are actually made by... La Prairie. So the same technology that's used across the company goes into those products. I'm not saying that they use the same quality of ingredients, but they definitely use the same innovation. Mm. And look for the research that is also proper research. That's right, that is proper research. Not you know, three people tried this and two of them liked it. That's right, you know, you're looking for brands like the big guns, you know, the Neutrogenas, the L'Oreal's, the Olay's, you know, they're all, they have big motherships that mm. do incredible research. I mean, beauty products now have to stand by what they say they do. You must see the ingredient list on the back. If you don't, don't buy it. Okay. What about some things that we should definitely save on and splurge on? Well, I think I would always save on makeup and splurge on skincare. You know, because if you've got beautiful, hydrated skin, and I'm not talking about being wrinkle free here, I'm just talking about skin that's luminous and looks hydrated and healthy, yeah. you don't need a lot of makeup. Yeah. You know, makeup, you can actually buy some great little beauty bras and in your supermarket. You know, I buy my Maybelline Great Lash at the supermarket. It's a great mascara. It's one of the best mascaras um, around, isn't it? So if you can invest in your skin, and save on your makeup, then you're actually going to end up looking better longer. So there's a lot of focus too on natural skincare these days, which is great. Yeah, there um, is. What should we be looking for, or, or, or how do you know that you're actually getting an organic product? Now you know there's not a lot of licensing around this. Um, it is going to change, but. I always look for, and you won't necessarily find it at the supermarket, but I always look for a sticker on it that might be BioGrow to go organic. Mm -hmm. Natural is a tricky one because you only have to have 5% natural ingredients in a product to call it natural. So ultimately, you know, you can call a shoe polish natural if it's got some natural essential oils in it. See. So again, read the ingredients list. I mean, consumers now are lucky because products have to be transparent. They have to say what's mm. on the back. Um, another bugbear of mine is be very careful what you wash down the sink. So your shampoos, your cleansers, your body washes, try and go as natural as you can with those yes. because that ends up in our waterways. And the waterways also ends up in our bodies it, as well. It does. Let's talk about the products before we run out of so time. So let's talk about them. Yep. Start with the Garnier. I bought the Garnier BB cream in because it is a classic. You know, it's everything. And for a busy mum who's on a budget, you've got your moisturiser, your tint, um, your SPF all in one, and it blends seamlessly. And it feels beautiful on the skin too. My absolute favourite shampoo brand in the supermarket is about nine variants. That's the latest bamboo. Um, sulfate free, paraben free, natural ingredients. <laughs> um, it's absolutely beautiful and a great, I mean, under $20 for a really big bottle. That's great. Yep. Now, what about this one? This is obviously now, well that's loved. It's been well loved. <laughs> Sorry, it's not great. It's an oil, but Bondi Sands, the um, spray oil, which is coconut scented, is a great fake tan. And it doesn't oh, smell so like roast pork on your body. You know how, <laughs> you know how your skin smells? smells a bit roasted after you've put your sunscreen, <laughs> no. I mean after you put your fake tan on. Um, and some innovation, you know, this is a great new product, it's just launched from Schwarzkopf, it's available in the supermarket and it's a root tint colour. 
that you can put on your regrowth. If your grey hair starts coming through, you just spritz it on and there's about six shades. Right, save some Brilliant. time between um, hairdressing appointments. What That's this one? right. Aveeno, you know, you can't go wrong. Active Naturals, again, there's soy in that. Um, great little beauty buy for a, for a good body lotion. And perhaps my favourite, and I talk about this a lot. Is it two of the same thing? But oh. One's a day and one's a night cream. Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle. Now this is brilliant technology. It's it's your vitamin A, a very low dose of vitamin mm -hmm. A mixed with glucose, so it's slow release. It does work. It's incredible. Wow. Great anti-aging And product. all of these things are under 30 bucks at the supermarket? All at the supermarket. That you is You can disguise brilliant. them in your weekly shop. You can. What? No, I don't know what you're talking about. That's <laughs> definitely my shampoo. That's uh, right. Thank you so much, Trudy. That's oh, been pleasure. really quite enlightening. Good to see there's some bargains around that actually do what they're meant to do. Now, for more tips from Trudy, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.